Oh, Melina, you should want to take me to the round table. As soon as you step foot into Kaelid and or the church I was avoiding the invasion at and or kill that mariner, that's a new loading screen. Those are all things that might trigger Melina taking you to the round table. Let everything load in. Okay, the statue of America's net here. For P online PvP. Let's mash our way through this dialogue a little bit. Because it is not important to us yet. Yep. These look like the regular incantations. Go D. Yeah, I haven't gone to me. I haven't met your boss yet. Oh, I see something new over there. Hello, Encha. Give me the emote. Right, so this is new. Okay, a little little Ronnie doll. I believe this allows you to perform the walk and movement animations of the opposite gender of your character. So I started off as a male. No, no, wait, is this a female character? <laughs> okay, it's a female character with a male face. Whoopsies. Yeah, so this would give me the animations of the opposite character. Heisenberg's hat. Come imbued with the danger. Bloody seal. That's... That is a seal with the icon of the fly, blood fly swarm. Okay, and that is a talisman. All right. Uh, this is Boss Resurrection. Okay. I'll see him shop. Hunter weapons. Bloodborne weapons. And... Isn't that a Dark Souls 3 hat? Emerald Herald Cloak? Bear, seek, seek, lest. Okay, these are outfits from the other games. We got Havels, Katarina, Wolf Knight. I'm assuming that you go into the arena and you get rewarded with whatever it is. Whatever that icon is for victories and it allows you to buy things from other games. Okay. This is the same. This is the same. I don't need any of it right now. That is an unlimited Marvel tier purchase. Okay, so the unlimited respects for 50,000 runes each. That's fine. I don't want to go down there just yet. Hey, hello, Dialos. That man's new. Oh, dear. You might. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, are you here as a customer? 
And you buy crystal tears from him. Okay. Are these all the tears that you would normally find out in the world? No, it's not. No, it's not, because the strength's not in, in... Okay, so that's that's a rather limited number of tears. That's a rather limited number of tears. Alright. Purchase at least some. There we go. <laughs> Fixed. He is still here. All right. Yep. No. Give me. Give me the hug. Give me the hug. Come on. You are very warm. Olican's blessing. All right, I still get the health down from it. Yeah, five nineteen. What is this? Missing stone shards tutorial. Introduced in Shattered and updated in Dark Moon are Smithing Stone Shards, a new version of Smithy Stones that streamlines the process. Yug now knows how to combine and break down these shards into the requisite stones for you. All you'll ever need are regular and somber stone shards of a certain amount. Shards can still be, shards can still be bought at the Twin Maiden Husks after getting bell bearings. They simply decrease in cost with each subsequent unlock. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see Little Jar Man. Yeah. So as I as I was thinking before, now it's just stone shards. You you put shards on the on the thing, and then you're good. And it just increases in the amount each time. All right. Exhaust the dialogue, just get it off the menu. Little pop man. A heavy infused Reduvia. Oh, it's the Reduvia's Ash of War. Okay, so whenever you pick up a unique weapon or a unique Ash of War from a weapon, you can come to him and buy the unique Ash of War. Okay, you know what? That that's interesting. The door's open. That door not normally open. Pretty sure I don't have any more keys. Yeah. Does do we still get invaded down here? Uh, those are target dummies, I think. Yeah, I think these are our target dummies. We do still get invaded. Ooh, he, his scythe has an enchantment on it. And I am not ready to fight him. Okay, yeah, he still has, uh bunch of poise. He still has a bunch of poise from that attack. Okay. Yep, nope. Still can't kill him right now. I was surprised that the door was open, though. We'll be back for him. That is a Dark Souls 3 loading screen. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't rest. I didn't rest at the table. Didn't touch it. Okay, so all these loading screens are new.
I want my souls. Give me this. Yeah, he invaded, but I don't care. Up to you. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Can't do anything. Is he? Standing over there or something? Yep, and he can still attack me in here. Even though I'm in a uh, no combat zone. Easy got me. And he's gonna continue easy getting me. Whenever I'm just using like basic daggers. I don't have that much range, to say the least. Ugh. me with it. There's, there's nothing I can really do against him right now. That's fine. If I had a parry, I could do something, but I don't. I still want my souls, though. Still want my, still want my, my gold, my runes, my everything. And the fact is that I'm just probably going to have to let him kill me, like, right here. There's That's one of the reasons why this door is normally closed. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Let's let's get my stuff back and carry on about my day. I'm not getting anything done with him right now. Yeah, this this is 100% of the reason why uh, this door isn't normally open. That doesn't hurt Popman. His scythe has a permanent frostbite effect on it. That's interesting. Okay. Back to the church.
I do have a level up or two. Oh, Melina. You want to talk to me about this church, don't you? Spoken words, if you wish. Very well, my lord. With thine up, ye will well. Shall I turn with let my hand share them with me? Your thoughts. Your ambition. I'm only one I'm only one level short. Okay, so in some mods, they trapped this. Do they in this one? No? Mark Seal, die. Nothing new behind him. Does this man aggro? No. Cool. Alright, so I don't I don't know the trick with the Knight's Cavalry on the lower bridge over here. I've tried it before, but I never got it down. But we can just go ahead, run past the dragon, and go to the giant oversized dragon. Get to that. Hello, Grail. Alright. The mod changed this encounter any. I'm looking to see if one of the little dragons comes over to say hi. If not, then this is the same as normal. And there's no real issue. susceptible to bleed. That was... Okay, I hear him stomping around over there, but he doesn't look like he's getting any closer.
I'm expecting that they didn't change this very much. All shards are the same for crafting. Does that mean that late game areas just give an absolute ton of shards? Am I gonna get like 50 if I go down and grab the uh, 7 at the base of the tower? normal? Roughly the same as normal, okay. So nothing new about that. That's the same as always, cool. That to 30. That decks up. Since it looks like I'm gonna be going heavy into decks. At least for now. That'll allow me to equip the Reduvia. And now, okay, so the, type, the card on this says 51 blood loss now. Okay, that's... Hmm. Let's go see if the Gar Seal. Well, this is actually the Sor Seal. Any different? Why do I have 18,000 souls? I was pretty certain I used all my souls. I had like 700 left. My rat? My rats? Yep, that's still the source seal. Yeah. No, we're good. Nope, not good. <laughs> I wasn't quite high enough on the ladder. Okay, well, I don't know where those 18,000 came from. But we got the four seal. Is it the same? Yeah. Looks like it's the same. Yes, okay, so 14 shards there. 16 there, alright. So that's 
That's exactly how I thought it was going to be. Which actually makes it where leveling up a weapon is much faster than this. Because if you can just go out, pick up some of these late game guards, and that'll get me a bunch of levels on a weapon. I come down here to the bottom of the tower, pick up some more. I wonder how Sombers work. Do Sombers still go up to plus 10? Are there slabs? Do I need a slab in order to get it up to plus 25 or plus 10? I have questions. But I can go up to this merchant and just grab his bell bearing real quick. Are there are more dogs here than normal. Probably not. Probably not. Okay, that's that's everything set up to just start dealing with everything in Limgrave. Got some early levels, got some weapons, got some upgrade materials. Don't got the runes to upgrade things. Do I still need to go to round table to get past plus three? Yes. Okay. So we'll just go to round table. For exactly that purpose. Okay, Reduvia lost a ton of troops. Hard to upgrade, okay. I don't even have the materials to do that. Why did I? Whatever. Already did it. Too late. Didn't the Cypher Puddle require 40? Faith? Maybe? I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Let us start destroying Limgrave. Start here. Here. There. Honestly, I could probably go after the Tree Sentinel now, too. Dual daggers aren't the best. Not by a long shot. Did I ever talk to him? You made it, and but, oh, before I fear you, I don't blame. Why not? Ah, then. to join the rap with the two. They are. Hmm.
Ah. I saw it. The AoE on that. The AoE on that. The dodge definitely has getting something to get used to because my my brain isn't straightening out how fast I move on that dodge. Partly due to the the severe problem of not enough frames. Ah! Got me. AoE on that. So big. There we go. Now, I do have... I, I really should get myself a blunt weapon. That's not going to happen right now. Okay. I don't have the strength for the flail. And that's the only striking weapon I have access to at the moment. We will find out how much of a difference that makes. I should check to see level. Got enough. Yeah, getting up to 10 strength isn't the worst. Just to use some basic hammers and... and Flails and all that. Fact is, daggers don't work very well against these dudes. Okay. 
they're they're very miserable against these dudes to be precise Okay, I can't I can't get any closer to deal with him. Wait, I have a bow. I don't have many arrows, but I have a bow. Granted, if he's that far back, it's not gonna be a good time. And the bow's not gonna do any damage. Nice to know. That still hit me. Same thing. Oh. None of them aggro until I pick up the item on that corpse. I'm just not going to pick up that item. Easy as that. All of these things seem to be the same. Stone shard. That's right. Due to the uh, increased drop rate of things, or not the increased drop rate, but the fact that we're dealing with only one kind of upgrade material. There's a uh, good reason to farm shards now. In that case, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Put those on. I did jump down too far. I, I got too excited. I was not paying attention. I went down too far. That's fine. This is okay. I'll just have to run back up there. Right, you okay? 
Looks like the same boss. Then the quick spin a little bit, I think. I did not attack twice. Ah. Fine, fine, fine. Come on. Someone make the map move speed faster. Okay, I didn't get anything special from that. Just the same thing as always. Hiya, wolves. Come and get me. The fact that I have the rally mechanic, the Bloodborne rally mechanic, and a small heal on hit makes it where I can I can free just trade with enemies and not care. At least small ones. And that's 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 a thing. Also, it appears that the rotten sword talisman triggers on, or excuse me, not the rotten sword, the Millicent's prosthesis. Uh, triggers on like the second hit in a combo. Oh, I underestimated the range. I underestimated the range on the last hit there. Blank contract, that's new. Blank page used for hi in hiring shopkeep. The Isle of Bounty is known to imbue pass passivity in its denizens. Find this page with your desired item. A little treat for its seller as an invitation for those who would otherwise do you harm. Okay. Keep an eye on the underground of the lands with fill out your roster. Alright. So there was something new there.
That sounds like my message for the day. All right, so we will stop here. I haven't gotten much actually done yet, but we, we touched a little bit. We touched a little bit. Uh, next time I'm on, I'm going to start punching through Limgrave. I'll see you then. For now, thank you, and enjoy.